Hello friends, in this video I'd like to cover a couple of changes and new features that I've implemented for the gateway. Uh, over here in the settings area, the serial data rate has changed from 115200 to 19200, so it's a much lower data rate. Uh, I've decided to default it to this value because in some instances when a lot of uh, serial data is coming in, some of those uh, serial messages might get corrupted. So. Uh, at this lower data rate, I haven't seen that happening. Uh, if you decide to use this new value, keep in mind you have to also recompile the sketch that you run on your Gateway Motino or on your Mighty Hat if that's what you use. Uh, there's a new setting called Keep Metric Logs on Delete, and this defaults to false. And this controls what happens to the log files that uh, keep the binary data for graphing or logging. So any metrics that have those files, if you delete those metrics or if you delete nodes that contain such metrics with uh, graph or log data, uh, those files will also get deleted. Um, if you change this to true or anything else, those files will, will get left behind. So uh, if that node later comes back online and um, sends data in, the new data will just get appended to the same old file. Another new setting is the graph max points. This defaults to 800 and this controls the number of data points that you actually see in a, in a graph. So uh, for instance here we see up to 800 points in this graph. So you can increase that or decrease it. 800 seems like a, a nice uh, all around value. Another feature that has been in place for a while but I don't think I've demoed before is uh, list reordering. And this only works on the desktop for now. And that means that if you grab a node, you can actually change the order. You can drop it in a different place. And that will broadcast a uh, new order or a new list to everyone that's looking at the list. So all the clients looking at this UI will instantly see the, the list reordering. That order is being saved to the database in a node called node list order, which has a comma separated value of the node IDs. Let's look at a node that has a little bit more data. This is a garage node and this controls and monitors my garage door. Uh, the hardware for this is a garage mode shield and that is coupled with a Motino that controls it. And in addition to that, there's this weather shield that sits on top of that and that sends uh, weather data from the same node. So that's uh, installed on the garage door opener. It monitors the door position. It can open or close the garage door. And uh, of course it sends that weather data. So all that comes in here and I can see the status of the, the door. I can see when it's been open and for how long. And then um, these metrics from the data shield I can go in here and see a bunch of data. Uh, this graph shows a total of uh, up to 800 points and that comes back from that setting that we've seen a minute ago. So right now we see 791 points, total data points that were graphed. And then the second number here is something new. I've added that to show you the total number of raw data points that were logged from this metric. So the 791 are an actual aggregation from 1913 data points. And then the number in parentheses is the time it took for that whole aggregation to happen and to load uh, this graph. So let's do something interesting. Let's go back in here in the settings area. Let's change this to 400. And don't forget to save. Let's go back in here. And now if we load that same view, we'll see that the data looks a little bit more choppy and that's because we lowered the resolution. So now we see up to 400 points in this graph. So that shows you how that setting works. Let's change this back to 800. Again, save this. And now the data looks a lot more smooth as before. Finally, we have this new export raw data button here and this uh, allows you to download the raw data behind any metric that is uh, logged. So you can move around and select um, 
um, your desired time period for which you want to download that data and clicking this button will generate a uh, comma separated value file that you can open in Excel for instance and that'll give you two columns the first one is the timestamps and this represents uh, milliseconds since Unix epoch and then the second value is the actual uh, value of the metric so uh, to manipulate this data we can uh, insert a new column here and I will paste a special formula and this just takes the value of the timestamp and divides it by a thousand for the milliseconds part and then uh, by 60 for the seconds another 60 for minutes and 24 for hours it adds uh, the 1st of January 1970 offset and because I'm in the Eastern time zone I subtract five hours uh, to get my uh, relevant timestamp for where I'm at and I'll apply that formula to the whole column I can format that to a date like that and then we can insert a graph and see what that data looks like so this is what uh, that same graph looks like in Excel and you can manipulate this data in various different ways or you can uh, use different tools to do the same thing um, there's many different options so that wraps it up and as always you can report any bugs um, submit contributions or request new features in the forum